Once a dimension or number is displayed in the display, it can be used however you desire by pressing the appropriate action keys for adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, or calculating values using the various solvers. Let's perform some basic math functions using some of the action keys. Clear the calculator. Enter 3 feet, 10 and 1 quarter inches. Note after a function key is pressed, the calculator will convert the fraction to the lowest common denominator, in this case being 1 quarter. By pressing the fist button again, the display will convert the fraction back to 16ths mode. You can toggle back and forth to work in either mode you desire. In our example, we will work with the lowest common denominator. Now add 7 feet 6 and a half inches. Continue to add 24 feet 11 and 1 eighth inches. Subtract 8 feet 3 and a half inches. Now let's multiply this by 4 feet even. Now let's divide this number into 7 spaces. Again, we added 2 extra zeros to move the 7 into the whole number position. So each space is 16 feet 0 and 3 16 inches. Now we need to see if there is a leftover remainder. To do this, first press the invert key. This inputs the calculator in the secondary key mode. Notice the secondary lettering above the divide key is RIM, which stands for remainder. So we see there is a 3 16 remainder left over to be made up if needed. Now, if you want to multiply or divide a dimension that is made up of feet, inches, and fractions by another dimension with feet, inches, and or fractions, the calculator will automatically convert the answer to a decimal dimension because it will be an area answer. For example, multiply 7 feet 8 and 9 16 inches by 8 feet 11 and 7 8 inches. This is the area or square feet for a rectangle using these two dimensions we entered. However, if we multiply or divide a feet inch and fraction dimension by a whole number, we will get a feet inch and fraction answer. Reason being is that the calculator assumes you are working with spaces rather than trying to find an area. If we have a rectangle that is 25 feet 8 and 9 16 by 22 feet even, this will give us the area of the rectangle. The display shows 20 feet 5 and a quarter inches. To convert this to a decimal value, press the decimal key. The area of our rectangle is 20.4375 square feet. How to work with the plus to minus key and the electronic tape? First, let's clear the calculator and do some basic math. Enter 5 feet 6 and 7 sixteenths inches. Add 12 feet 3 and 13 sixteenths. Subtract 10 and 11 sixteenths. Now, let's subtract this dimension from a larger dimension, say 22 feet 7 and 15 sixteenths. First, we change the 16 feet 11 and 9 sixteenths dimension to a minus dimension by pressing the plus minus key. Now, enter the 22 feet 7 and 15 sixteenths dimension, but first, we must press the plus key. Now, let's review the entries and totals by using the electronic tape. We activate the tape by pressing the invert key, followed by the equal key, which has a secondary key function, that being the tape. At this point, a small T appears in the left side of the display, indicating we are in the tape mode. To scroll back through the tape, press the minus key. We can press the plus key to go back up the list. If we would like to use this dimension for another equation, press the equals key and this will lock the dimension in the display. From here, we can use the dimension in any way we desire.